plastic litter in waterways is the problem, and the PET project is sailing those waterways to raise awareness about it and try to solve it. British environmental charity Hubbub created the punt almost completely from plastic waste. It's the second of its kind. The first, Polymer, was launched in November, and during its plastic fishing trips on the Thames since then, it's collected 95 kilograms of recyclable plastic, including 762 bottles. Gavin Ellis, Hubbub director and co-founder, says having the 12-seat punts sailing through the heart of London sends a strong message. I think what this does is it shows that it's not just an issue that's in, in faraway oceans, it's not just in the Pacific Indian Ocean. Actually, this is an issue that's, that's present here in London and in the UK. Um, but actually, there's lots we can all do about it, and it's just really simple things. It's, it's putting your litter in the bin, it's making sure that you don't put litter in an overflowing bin where it can blow out into the river. It's obviously not dropping litter directly into the river. So it's just about you know thinking about our everyday behaviours and the impact that they might have on, on, the, on the, the marine and environment. Among those who signed on for Pet Project's maiden plastic fishing trip was retired British rower and triple Olympic gold medalist Andrew Triggs Hodge. I managed to pick up two bottles, very proud, um, but uh, no, I, I can see the potential of, of kids enjoying a safe environment on the river, doing something they would never dream of doing otherwise, uh, and just being able to open their minds in that respect. 16-year-old Charis was also on board that first trip. It was really fun and it was just amazing how much plastic we found in such a small space of the river and in such a short time, so it's really worthwhile to just go out there and collect it. All that rubbish will be turned into more boats. Boat builder Mark Edwards makes them with plaswood, a recycled plastic material that's a substitute for wood. It took us two men uh, about six weeks flat out. So it's quite a lot of work. So I said we use traditional copper fastenings, so everyone has to be hand riveted together. So it is a little bit laborious, um, but it's for a craft that's going to last 100 years, it's nothing. Hubbub hopes its recycled flotilla will clean the waterways all around the UK and encourage everyone to keep plastic waste out of their rivers. For writer Faisa El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.